So we have a family tree. An unknown person to me posted this. Right. That is a really strange coincidence. All right, so here's Ralph B. Montgomery, born 1834, in Milton, Northumberland, Pennsylvania. Northumberland, Pennsylvania. So he was born in Pennsylvania. These would be his Ralph Montgomery's children. So there's Jane. So he had other children, and they have a living descendant. Probably the person who created this family tree. How do I get in touch with this person? Click on her username. Maybe this relative can tell me more about Ralph, including how his daughter Jane ended up a servant. OK. Your message has been sent. Steve wow. Buscemi's journey into his mother's family history has come full circle back to Brooklyn. Well, I'm excited. I'm going to meet a distant cousin of mine. She's the person who posted the family tree and what she knew of the Montgomerys. She responded to my email, and we've arranged to meet in Brooklyn. I'm hoping she can tell me what happened to Julia and the rest of her family after Ralph died. Hello. Hello. How are you? Good. How are you? I'm Steve. And I'm Carol, Steve. Hi, Carol. So my great-great-grandparents, Ralph and Julia, had five kids. Two of the siblings were Jane, my great-grandmother, and Ralph, who is Carol's great-grandfather. So that makes Carol my third cousin. Pleasure to meet you. Really great to meet you. My third cousin. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks so much for posting information on the family tree and for coming here. I, this is wonderful. Good. I've waited years to try and break through this wall of the family yeah. and, and find out some information. So. Well, I have information for you, and, and I'm I hoping... I have some for you, too. Oh, good, good. <laughs> I would like to know what became of Julia after Ralph died. Well, I have some information for you here in that Julia actually gets remarried. Aha. Uh -huh. To Charles Brandenburg. And I'm wondering if she, if she got her kids back then. Because Jane, my great grandmother, at 11 years old, she was uh, living in Camden, New Jersey, with another family. And she was, in fact, working as a servant for another family. Julia also sent her son, my great grandfather, Ralph. She did? Because I found him in the 1880 census as a servant as well. He was working with another family? Yes. Well, this is actually um, New York census from 1892 mm -hmm. in Flatbush. In the county in of Kings. Kings. That's Brooklyn. Yeah. So we've got Julia. Julia. Brandenburg. There's the Montgomery's. Right. Right. Ralph, Ralph Montgomery. And that's your. That's my great grandfather. Right. Looks like Jenny. Jenny. Yeah, Jenny Montgomery. This is my great grandmother. Her name was Jane, but I, I guess they, they sometimes called her Jenny. So they're all back together again. Let's get it all back That's together. Great. It's That's wonderful. really wonderful. And now I know how, uh, how my mom's family, when they started in New York, in Brooklyn, this, right. is, this is how Jane, my great-grandmother, ended up in Brooklyn and I guess got to know the neighborhood. And as a matter of fact, she lived in this building. Really? Yeah. And that's something that I, that I never knew. She lived in this building. Yeah. The funny thing is, my wife and I love this restaurant. And we actually, we were here the night before that I, that I discovered that Jane lived in this, wow. in this uh, it's truly, building. It's truly amazing. So this family yeah. history right in this building. There is, yeah. That's amazing. While I started this journey hoping to find an ancestor with a compelling story, I also wondered if I'd uncover a history of depression in my family, and I've found both in Ralph Montgomery. And now I'm looking forward to sharing everything I've discovered with my parents, especially my mom, who, until now, has known very little about her family. Hey! <laughs> How are you? Hi. So this journey took me to really unexpected places. And the interesting thing is just what a role fate plays in life. Now there's Ralph Montgomery. On my mother's side, there was a big void of not knowing where her family or who her family was and uh, where they came from. Somebody found a note in a bottle, and it was basically 
a suicide note from Ralph Montgomery. Wow. He didn't go through with it, obviously, or we wouldn't be here. <laughs> it's not a simple story, you know. I mean, the story of Ralph Montgomery is um, uh, complex. Back then, depression was really stigmatized. You know, it was a shameful thing. Um, and nowadays, it's more out in the open. And I think that's how it should be. We have to learn from the past so that we can make the future better. I love having that sense of knowing where my great great grandfather, you know, practiced dentistry. You know, mm, that, that mm. Uh, I, and I, just, I never would have imagined we had a dentist in the, in the family. In the family. We need one. Yeah, <laughs> tell me about it. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I've always taken it for granted, you know, that I have a good family, um, and our struggles because every family has stuff that they may want to hide or not talk about. But when I think of the past generations, the things that they went through and that they survived, it really makes me so much more appreciative of my family. <laughs>